too late to turn back now. Now, now, now. Get your money, get your money. Bust, bust. Get your money, get your money. Top five. Top five. Get your money, get your money. Hey, I'm about to activate a wonder twin power on it. T Pain. Yeah, you should already know when I walk in the door. It ain't a million dollars no more for High Williams, is it? Hell no. That for nobody. Janet Jackson, that, that was the budget killer, that was your biggest budget killer of all time? Yeah. Yeah. Right, was Find a winner. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the state, his moms and, you know what I'm saying, he left a lot of shit behind too. So they're able to do things to keep his legacy going like even more powerfully than it did when he was alive. So, you know what I'm saying, I'm on that shit right now. Like I'm just stockpiling arsenal so that, you know, the generations, three, four generations from now, I can still be eating all my shit. So, you it's know, too I'm, late I'm, to turn back now. Now, now, now. Get your money, get your money. Now tell me about Hood. All, all, everybody only knows him for that one person. You don't know him. I ain't know him. Never met him. Well, I met him. I met him twice. That's the only time all of us met him. I think q -tip met him one time before that. He was a homeless dude. Wow. Hood was homeless? Hood, Hood was homeless. Tip met him getting into a fight with a chick in a laundry night. Wow. And he was homeless. And he was rhyming for Tip. And Tip told him the studio just looking out for him. Wow. And that was the seen him the one time he came in the studio seen him one time outside of the studio after the day he did it and before we mixed the record he, he got killed yeah so he never lived long enough to hit a song finish and he was on his way too that was the that was the that was the the, the, the defining moment and the difference in his life because he was getting sought after crazy after that verse <coughs> the was ready to give him a deal all over the place at that time it's, it's, only, it's only like three people in history that people ran after him after one verse. A Z. Yeah. I ran after for one yeah, verse. Yeah. Life is a bitch. Yes. They they chased him down after one verse. Who else was like that? It's like two more people who got like, oh, one verse sparked everything. Is there a collabo you haven't done that you been dying to do? Yeah, like, I've done everybody I wanted to do. This this one person left. If I could just, if I could just do this collabo with them. everybody um i want to do a record with slick rick but i want to do i wanted to do a record with prime slick rick let me tell you something I'm, I'm not lying to you and i'm not saying it's because you're in front of me man my favorite mc of all time is slick rick i think the best is biggie but my favorite mc of all time is slick rick Mine's too. and uh my only issue and every producer i met <coughs> produced him you know because he did his stuff himself at the beginning i asked him like what happened why is it so hard to hear what he was saying on the first album even though he was semi-whispering and only talking, you heard everything beautifully. Then as the albums progressed, I was struggling to hear him. But I think, I don't, I guess, I think Jail took a lot out of him in terms of inner energy. But as a writer, wordsmith writer, he still, he would kick a kill 89% of MCs. He's still funny. I think the great problem was he wasn't really good with working with other people, man. That's really what it was, you know what I'm saying? Slick was at his best when he did his own shit. You gotta leave him alone. That's really what it was. That's my favorite rapper of all time. He was at his best when he worked on his own shit. And even at the time when he was, you know, he had Hank Shockley and Vietnam Sadler and all mm -hmm. of them from Bomb Squad on mm -hmm. that Greatest Adventures of Slick Rick first album, he still was on some, you can leave your beat and get the fuck out of here shit. Oh, really? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That nigga didn't risk it. He didn't risk it. Fuck all of that. He was get the fuck out of here, man. That niggas just I don't. That niggas can't tell me what to do. Rick's Rick's his cockiness was Crazy. at a level that nobody to this day has Dang. been able to reach. Yeah, it's crazy. Ooh. <laughs> my favorite, though, that's for sure. Hands Biggie down. Biggie's my. I think the best MC because God the growth. From ready to die, I, I can literally tell. Okay, you recorded this first, you recorded this last, and to this day, I still think in front of in front of another MC, you could, you could. any of the three verses are unbelievable. Will obliterate an MC like two in front. We're gonna rap each other in our faces. Any verse are unbelievable will obliterate an MC if you're hearing it for the first time. Right. <laughs> I still to this day don't think he has a better verse than. The unbelievable verses. I think he had some incredible verses, but because I'm not lying, Buster. When I first heard him, like on the Mary record, I was like, "What's the big deal?" Then he put out that Big Mac motherfucking sampler. They had Warning, Juicy, Unbelievable, and it was an, and the What on there. I was blown away. I was like, "This thing is incredible." Yeah. You could never, and I think what made him so great to me was you didn't know where the rhyme was going to end at. Right. There was no distinctive rhyme pattern right. of where he was going to rhyme at, and it would just. Like the wrong one. Why did you? How did you even get there? That's right. Disgusting. Yeah, he's crazy. 
93.9 WKYS. Of course, that was the latest from Buster. <laughs> Believe that. Hold on, Buster. I didn't even turn your mic up. My fault, bro. Believe that. There it is. <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Buster, man. One of the things that scares me, man, is that you're relentless. Goodness gracious, but your work ethic is bananas. Do you sleep? Yeah, I got to sleep.